short video because Mike worked yesterday and we only had one day to work. Yep. That's so, true. Getting the rest of these strips on. And then we will be able to spray foam. All right, I better stop videoing and help. So it's been really rainy and like snowing and all that kind of stuff. So we're really praying for some good weather so that we can do the spray foam insulation because basically we got to do that before we can build walls and get to anything else. So if not, we might have to rent um, a heater for the inside of the bus. All right, short weekend. Have all the windows skinned. This is gonna be the sleeping areas for the kids. This is gonna be the master area, so we left in windows. The floor got painted. It's messy, because nobody cleans up after themselves around here. And then they just sealed the holes on the bottom. Mike is working on wiring. And then we will continue, and by we I mean Mike, because <laughs> I can't get it in there, um, doing these strips on the walls and the remainder of the rest of the bus. Then next we'll be putting the floor insulation down and then spray foaming. Hopefully we get some warm weather. I am about ready to head to Home Depot to pick up the table saw that didn't work in the last video and hopefully it works because we are getting really close to finally doing the insides so I'm excited. So the weirdest thing just happened. I got my table saw back from warranty repair where they replaced the motor on it and guess what they did. Here's the in feed. Here's the blade and it's installed backwards. The blade is installed backwards. Can you believe that they repaired it under warranty and installed the saw blade backwards? These are the boxes that Mike is making for the well wheels. We still have to do this one. But here we go, he's going to make or finish these ones, you wanna tell us? Yeah, so I want to spray foam the wheel well, but at the same time, I want to have my floors come all the way up like to the wheel well, so I didn't want, I want to have something to enclose the wheel wells in. So I built these boxes to go around them so I can spray foam in here, and then I'll have a nice little square platform to build over the wheel well. Uh, we got to finish all these furring strips along this wall. All right, so we have to make these little and we need to install the foam board on the floor and the foam board. Yep, yep, lots to do. Lots to do. All right. So this is my job. I just videotape when Mike works. That's not well. That is, <laughs> well, that is a good job though. Because the problem is, if I don't videotape when Mike works, then nothing gets videotaped. But then the problem is then when I work, nothing gets videotaped. Like right now, nothing's getting videotaped. I can't even see you over there, it's so dark. In that little skinned area. Oh yeah? Probably good, because it would have just been a black rat anyway. Somebody is coming. It is I, the <clears throat> wonderful Wizard of Oz. So you can't see from here, but over there on that hill, there's these little white dots. Those are a bunch of sheep. Now I'm plotting. I might go over there and sneak some sheep out of the fence. So I got some more lamb. Okay, so all these are is just, I mean, you can do your own measurements, but it's just three pieces of wood. Mine are all 10 and three quarter inches high, which gives me about an inch and uh, inch and a half or so of space above the wheel well for spray foam. Um, and then they're about 
three inches longer than the total wheel well, so that gives me about an inch, inch and a half on each end of the wheel well. And then I notched those pieces to go around the chair rail. And just a plywood box. So and I'm gluing everything together. So I'm gonna glue this edge, that edge, glue this edge, There she goes, like a spider monkey. nail it in with finished nails and then eventually I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna put probably three wood screws into each end to counter sunk and I'll probably put one or two wood screws into here just for strength. Was that before the insulation? Uh, yeah I mean it's just a couple screws. Our skylights are so nice. Yeah they're a little rough they're right a little now. wet but I like the light in here. Yeah, me too. It's a good idea. I know. <laughs> oh, we should link to this gun in the video comments. Okay. These large tubes. They are 28 ounces, are like three times cheaper buying them this way than buying the little small ones, right? And you're gonna go through a lot of this stuff, so you might as well buy these. Mm -hmm. But the guns they sell at Home Depot, or the big box store, are like He-Man strength. This one, I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't take almost any effort at all. Yeah, I second that because that other one was really hard. So I'm going to link to the Amazon link down below. Yeah, on where to buy this gun. It's totally worth it. Buy it. Much easier. <laughs> Clearly, he likes it. What's that commercial? He likes it. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. He likes it. Why is everything we're doing either referring to a commercial or a song we know? Because that's just how I am. All right. Tell us what this is. These are pine, three and nine sixteenths inch uh, by. What are they, like eight foot long? Yeah, they're five sixteenths thick. And uh, this covers 14 square feet total. And they're like 10 bucks a pack. Woohoo. 
Um, now they're cheap, and you see sometimes you have a knot in them like that, right? So you gotta so like that's a little knotty spot, but it doesn't go all the way through. But what you want to watch out for, I picked through them at the store, and this one doesn't have any split boards or cracks in it. You can see there's like a few chips out of some of the grooves, but not a huge deal. That'll all blend in anyways. But you want to watch out for knots that go all the way through or split boards at the ends and, mm -hmm. and pick through them at the store. But these will go along. Oops. These will go along our our roof here, so there'll be one, and then boom, and then boom, and then all the way across. And oh, there will be nice. ones along the wall here going oh, down. down. Yep. It's going to be curvy. Yeah. We will fight for the truth. Put the axe into the road. Do what's right. No matter what may come. No matter what they say. No matter what they do. Check one, check it. Cause these are the days. Come on. Where soldiers are made. Yo. Take a stand. kids do while we're working on the bus. They just <laughs> beat each other up. Golly. They're pretty rough, huh? What's going on? Got one chicken like fell out of the tree or got knocked out of the tree by another bird. And then it like basically threw a fit and went over the stairs like, I'm going to sleep over here, you jerk. Oh. Huh. Alrighty, calling it a night.